challenge. Since last time, I haven't done any training or changed our team at all, so we're gonna head straight into the action. <sighs> These rocket hideouts, they, uh, they really trip me up sometimes. You broke into Team Rocket's operation. What nerve. Yeah, they really trip me up sometimes, just with all the mazes and the different floors that you have to clear out in certain orders and stuff. Sends out a pillow swine. We shouldn't have too much trouble against these rockets. But it would be nice if we could get a challenge. So Pillar Swine leaves our uproar because it's so defensive. And then goes for an endure, so it's going to live this turn. Unfortunately. And our uproar ends, so we can just go for Body Slam. Slackjaw gains 720 experience. Delcaddy. We can stay in and take out the Delcaddy. Okay. I don't know why Slackjaw's not killing things in one hit. He's got pretty good attack. Wow, just got hit four times by double slap. That was nice. Pretty rude, actually, but not much we can do, so we just go for another body slam to take out the Delgatti. And we defeat the Team Rocket Grunt. Get a fair few, fair few dollars off that guy for winning. And there's an item down here, so we'll grab that. A charcoal, which would be good, but we don't have any fire type Pokemon or moves. So we'll be holding on to that for a while, I think. We'll fight this guy next. Who are you? How did you get here? Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle. Since out of Natu. Hopefully this base doesn't take us too long. I like to continue with the main story. There we go. Starting to take things out at one end now. Gains 328 experience in the grid level 32. Carvana, we can stay in and use Uproar, that shouldn't activate Rough Skin. Gonna get a bit of Leftovers Recovery, we'll go for Uproar. There we go, take it out in one hit again. Gain a little bit of experience, and we defeat the Team Rocket Grunt. Is there anything down here? Okay, a keycard door, so we can't go uh, down there yet. So I'll go down to the second place basement floor. Boss said you can see ghosts with the silver scope. I think that's why we're here, isn't it? Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle, sends out a marker here to... Oh no, silver scope's not why we're here. I can't even remember why we're here. Silver scope's in uh, Saffron, I'm pretty sure. So we take out the marker hitter, which is good, because it could have done some damage to us. A fan B is going to be pretty bulky, so I'm going to swap into, uh... Let's swap into Riptide and see how our Fury Cutter works. So it's not going to do... well. I was going to say it's not going to do too much, but I suppose it's a level 17. So we'll just go for it again and take it out. Riptide gains 451 experience, and a Magnemite's about to come out. So we'll swap out into Aragog. We'll go for Nightshade, since I th I'm pretty sure Magnemites have Levitate. Doesn't quite take it out. Goes for Sonic Boom, which does 20 damage, fixed damage. But we'll take it out with Nightshade on this turn. Erico gains 324 experience. Oh, bip. We're gonna swap back into Riptide. Use our new Melodic. And the up 
is at level 17. We should be able to one-hit KO this, I think. Very nice. The Gloom. We're going to stay in on the Gloom as well, I think. So this might take me a minute or two to figure out. Thunderstone. So we can get a Jolteon from our Eevee now if we really wanted to. Which might be probably the best option, I think. Jolteon or Umbreon. Possibly Espeon. Because um, Umbreon can take a hit. Jolteon's really fast. String shot, my god, what a useless DM. I'm going to take a hit. Jolteon's really fast and can do that decent damage. Um, and Espeon can deal decent damage as well, but is pretty, pretty fragile. I'm just going in circles. I can't remember where I'm supposed to go. see where I was going. Why did you come here? Everyone's asking me the same questions. I don't have an answer for you. It's just where the universe is taking me. So Rocket Grunt sends out a Wingo, which we can take out easily with uh, Slapjaw. I wish that Pokemon were a bit stronger around here. 259 experience for Slapjaw, a pseudo widow. So we have to swap out because we've got nothing but normal moves. We're going to Kyle. Who's got uh, pretty much the only fighting move, I think. As far as I can remember. There we go, hopefully we get... Mm, four... Three hits, maybe. Four, damn it. Lives with like one health. Kick's not going to do too much because I'm flying time. And we'll finish it off with a tackle even though it's not very effective. Gaia gains 549 experience and Azumarill's going to come in. We're going to stay in on Gaia. We'll just go for a Dragon Rage. Which uh, we couldn't do in Gen 6 because Azumarill becomes Fairy type. And would be immune to dragon type attacks. But luckily for us, that's not the case yet. Hop it. We'll swap out to Toxin. We haven't seen much of Toxin this episode. Go for the Dizzy Bunch, because really, pretty much anything's going to take out our bit. Toxin gains 300 experience, and we defeat to Team Rocket Grunt. This won't do. Six hundred and eight dollars for winning. Great ball. Okay, that's not, that's not an awful item. Intruder alert. I can't remember what the point of coming here was. I thought there was Oh, I need to use the elevator later, but I have to get the key card first. This is going to take a while. For uproar. Slapjaw gains 282 experience. Skip room, we can stay in on. Get some leftovers recovery. And we should be able to take it out with uproar, I think. Very nice. to experience, just a fair amount of experience off that as well. It's going to 
sending a trick right now. And we are back to full health. We should be able to take out this Trico with Upper, I think. And gain 277 experience. I can't do it. So I'll head back down here because we're not supposed to come here yet. Which means I'll have to do that old puzzle again later. And we'll go down another floor. We'll fight this guy. We got word from upstairs that you were coming. Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle, sends out a Chinchou. Uh, we can probably take this out, I think. Not bulky enough. 405 experience for that. And they're going to send in a Spoink. Should be able to take this out as well, I think. Very nice. We should be able to go up a level here as well. 400 experience and we go to level 33. Slack Joe's getting pretty close to evolving, he's only got 7 or so levels. Which will be cool. Uh, Explode's a really cool Pokemon. Charge. What's with all the useless TMs for crying out loud? Give me some decent moves. I'd have to hit up the uh, department store after this and and buy some X attack. Useless. Well, at least I'm not going to be poor anytime soon. I can sell all these useless TMs and and uh, items. And we'll go down to this one and fight this guy. Stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs, or else there's not really a lot you can threaten me with because I'm cleaning up in here at the moment, all your Pokemon are so weak. Slackjaw will be able to easily take out his air skin. Two hundred and seventy experience, that's the only bad thing, we don't get much experience. We will actually swap out on Corsola. Um Gaia, I suppose, with uh, arm thrust. Dragon Rage or Nightshade would have done fine, but I want to use some super effective moves against it. Wow, critically it nearly takes it out. With like 15 base power, whatever it is. That's a pretty weak Corsola. 483 experience. Gives out a good experience though. A bomb we can stay in on, just arm thrust as well. going to be a 2 hit KO, which is excellent, arm thrust is uh, coming in very handy. Guy gains 402 experience, and we defeat the Team Rocket Grunt, oof, taken down. We'll head around here and grab this item, a Safari Ball, oh, what the hell, that's so weird. I didn't realise that was an item we could actually get. So we can sell that to again with the useless items. TM22, sheer cold. Okay, well that would be good, but it's not, so. The elevator doesn't work, who has the lift key? Another useless TM, that's so annoying. Just give me a decent move, you know, or even a normal move. Sends out a chin chow. Nothing else, slack jaw can't handle. Slam takes it out in one hit. 405 experience. A lady bomb. We're just gonna stay in. Wipe the floor with this rocket grunt for hiding the lift key from us. Sluggedual like gains 243 experience and we defeat rocket grunt. No. I know I dropped the lift key, but it doesn't move to pick it up or anything. <laughs> Alright, so now we have the lift key. I guess the war points are in the uh, in Saffron City base, which I'm not looking forward to, but we'll deal with it. Alright, we'll go down another floor. There's no other floor, this is the basement, okay. So then we go back here and I have to do this maze again. 
tell that I always get the uh, two rock and bases mixed up because I'm talking about things that we don't have to do yet, like the warp points and all that nonsense. But we've got the lift key. We'll head up the elevator to where we're supposed to go. Fourth floor, I guess. an item here. Red shard, useless. I know you, you were now plans in Mount Moon. Okay, so I'm going the right way. Which is lucky. Since I had a See now, I'll take curse damage, I'll be like just over a quarter of my health, pretty much any attack can take me out, so I have to swap. We'll see what this Crawdon went for. Protect, went for the double protect, what a scumbag. energy in case I have to go for the critical hits. That's a bit scary. But we should be able to take it out. It's only a little bird, so we'll go for uh whoops. We'll go for uproar since it's stronger. Quick attack doesn't do anything, doesn't get the critical hit. And we take it out with uproar. Just kind of trying to get that chip damage on me. Aaron we'll swap out just so that this uh Battle isn't super painful. Swap into Kaya, you can just take it out with arm thrust. So we'll go for arm thrust, it should take it out in one turn. Definitely. Very nice. And Kaya grows to level 33. Lots of stat boosts in that battle. Seeking. We're gonna swap to Riptide. Actually, no, we'll swap to Hawkeye. Go for Ancient Power. Try and get a boost. As usual. Probably won't get it. As usual. So now we're confused. That's pretty annoying. breaks through and we get the wing attack off. Should do some decent damage. Very nice. One attack is a pretty strong move. We'll go for a quick attack. See if we can finish him off. But we had ourselves in confusion. And it lowers my defense. Hopefully we snap out of confusion. Very nice. Take it out with a quick attack. Wow, 837 experience. Oh, I got a lot from that. A lot of money 
to. Okay, good to go the right way. So, I must say, I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping your criminal enterprise going. I'm the leader, Giovanni. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. So hopefully he has some pretty strong Pokemon. A dragon head, that's pretty cool. I don't think you'll keep it throughout the game though, which is unfortunate. So dragon oil is pretty bulky. Dragon hair is pretty bulky, so we don't take it out of one hit. But we'll definitely get it next turn. Get our leftovers recovery and take it out with uproar. This should be a fair bit of experience. 771 experience. Slack draw goes to level 34. Anorith. Uh, we will swap her on the Anorith. I'm going to swap into Aragog, I think. We'll have Bug versus Bug. Actually, that speeds us, which is weird. Okay, that did not do nearly enough damage, so we'll go for Nightshade this turn. See how much this does. This should do more, I think. Not quite. Okay, so we'll finish it off with Leech Life, I guess. I thought it was a uh, rock type, but apparently it's just straight bug. Fair bit of experience off that too. A Steelix, okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna swap out. Actually, we'll stay in and swap into Kyle. Because I want Aragog to go up a level. See, this, this is a suitable Pokemon for Giovanni to have. See, if it goes for a rock type move, Aragog's going to go down. We don't want that to happen. So we're gonna go into Kyle. next turn. Rock throw. Okay, so it does have a rock type move. Oh dear. No, thank goodness. I have to remember that guy is weak to rock moves as well. But now it got grows to level 32, which was the plan. Guy gains 600 experience and we defeat boss Giovanni. What? This can't be. $2,900 for winning. Wow, this guy's rich. I see that you raise Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. Silverscope. Oh, okay, no, we did get the Silverscope. Which means we can head back to Lavender Town. Uh, head up the Pokemon Tower. Save Mr. Fuji, get the Poke Flute. And then uh, head on towards Fuchsia. I got one more trainer. Are oh, you lost, you little mouse? I just crushed your boss. I don't think you stand much chance, to be honest. A drowsy. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. We'll actually go for a stunish because that'll be super effective. And we might get a flinch. But we don't. Poison gas. Does that poison me or is just a really weak attack? No, it poisons me. So we're going to get our leftovers and take poison damage. Which pretty much negates our recovery. Go for another Astonish. Take out the Drowsy. 480 experience for that. Uh, Spinder. Spinder will swap out into... Hawkeye, I think. So we'll just go for wing attack, 
I suppose, because we're not going to get a boost off Ancient Power. We've tried that game too many times. So Spin has got nothing to do for us, or against us, so it just goes for a tackle. Let me take it out with two wing attacks. Defeat Team Rocket Grunt. Why? <laughs> oh, Mega Poison, don't I? So we use one of our antidotes and heal up Slackjaw. And we can leave the game corner. I liked the um the Johto game corner. It had a couple of different games, but I'm not such a huge fan of the Kanto ones where it's just the slots. So we'll heal up our team. I actually want to go get Fly as well. So I'm going to swap out Shredding for a second. I'm going to swap out two Shred- Wait, can I get it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can get it. Without uh, taking out the, the Snorlax. PC might be a bit more handy for that. So we're going to take out Shredding for a second. So we'll leave Riptide in, we'll go grab Fly, and uh, probably teach it to our Hawkeye, I suppose. I, I think he's the only one who can learn it anyway. I used to think that Gyarados could learn Fly, I was pretty damn sure of it, but uh, I can't find any game that it can learn Fly in, so I guess I was just super wrong. Did I get an encounter here or not? can't remember. Send out Aragog and Orkai, I reckon. Take on these trainers. Jed, our love knows no bounds. We're in love and we show it. Alright, just not in the middle of the battle and we're fine. The young couple, Leah and Jed, would like to battle. Gyarados and Blaze again. Wow, what the hell? Why are your Pokemon so strong? These guys could have single handedly taken down, uh, the Team Rocket base. This is actually a terrifying matchup. Uh, far out. Uh, Eric will have to swap out to Gaia, I think. And we'll wing attack Blaziken. So we cut their attacks now. Which is good. Because plays against pretty scary. Okay, we do just over half damage. Double kick on Gaia. So that wouldn't have done too much to to Aragog. And neither would that. Alright. Um We'll go arm thrust on Blaze again. No, nope. we'll go Dragon Rage on Blaze again. And Ancient Power on Hawkeye. I mean Ancient Power on Gyarados. Dragon Rage takes out the Blaziken. 432 experience for everyone. Ancient Power won't take out the Gyarados, but it'll do a significant chunk. Nope, that's not even a significant chunk. Oh dear. It has Dragon Rage as well. That's right, our Dragon Rage is stronger. No, it's not. It does the exact same. What am I saying? But we have 2v1 here, so... We should be able to take it out. Oh, what the heck? This Gyarados is so bulky. But we'll definitely take it out this turn no matter what. Especially with Hawkeye's quick attack. Aragog and Hawkeye and Gaia gain 442 experience and we defeat the young couple. That was a uh, Gaia came close to to taking getting taken out then. Um maybe we gotta swap back into the front. I guess we can leave Aragog in the front. We'll run over and get run out of life from this guy. How'd you get in? Good effort. Yeah, it was really difficult. Route 16. Oh dear, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. Fly, wonderfully convenient move. Please could it put it to good use. So now we can fly back to Cerulean and get our bike that I left behind. May as well do that. Wait, can we use fly yet? I, I don't think we can, actually. Damn it. And... Mm, did I get... Wait, what route was this? This was 16, was it? 
Okay, so I wouldn't have got an account here, I don't think. But we can go check. Because that Snorlax will count as a stack encounter. And then we can get a regular Pokemon in the grass as well. But I just want to check the PC. Uh, to see if we had, if we actually had anyone from round 16. Because I actually can't remember. Okay. So this is from Saladon City. Round 8. Rock Tunnel. Round 10. 7. Okay. We can go get an encounter in that grass then. So we'll heal up first. some to sell it on department store, sell regular poker balls. I think they only sell great balls, now that I'm thinking about it. So now we can sell all that crap that we got. I wonder how much a safari ball is. Can't buy that. Okay. Fair enough. Energy root. Now we can use that. Um, <laughs> all our choice bands. Green shard. We don't want. Don't want the pearls. Attack. Don't want red shard. Sell some of our useless TMs as well. Like Buddy Charge and String Shot. Useless, honestly. Sheer Gold, we're never gonna use, I'm gonna sell that as well. Change the start to match the other ones. We're never gonna use that. Get out of here. Oops, no, don't sell that, I might use that. Um, okay. Right, so now we're gonna go grab our encounter in Route 16. Hopefully it gives us something good. Something interesting. Hopefully no more bugs. But I've got, like, every bug type. Or one bug type from every family in the game, so wait. Wait, wait, wait. Toxin in first for the uh, poison powder. And our encounter is a BG, so that's species claws, so we don't have to grab that. And we are not going to, in fact, grab that. Something better, please. A venonat, so we have a venomoth, so we don't have to capture that either. Something better, please. Something that I don't have, but also be good. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Chinchel, okay. So we'll go for poison powder. Also, it might be Chinchu, and I'm pronouncing it Chinchel. So, you know, either way, you know what I'm talking about. So we get paralyzed, but that's no big deal. Just gonna stall out some turns of of poison. So I get paralyzed. He takes some damage. 
Teenage Water Gun. So Water Gun, Thunder Wave, Flail. That's not a bad moveset. I love Thunder Wave. Paralysis is super handy, especially in competitive. I'm already paralyzed and he's already disabled, so... All that's gonna happen is this Jinchao is gonna take some damage. So we'll go one more attack, one more turn, I mean. Critical hit on Flail. <laughs> Alright, so now we'll start throwing balls at it, because it'll be about half. No longer disabled, but that's fine, because we should be able to capture it. Chuck a brick bomb. One, two, three, and we capture a Jinchao. Yes, we will. What do we want to call it? It's our first electric brick one. Let's call it Volts. I love the name Volts. And, um, what's its evolution? Lantern. Lantern's a pretty cool Pokemon. Nice and bulky and decent special attack. I've actually got a lantern on my a new team in Pokemon Showdown. It's not it's not putting in much work at the moment, so I'm considering taking it out, but it's nice to have as a defensive pivot. And uh cleric actually it's got Neil Bell, I think. So we'll leave everyone up. We'll get rid of um Schroding, because we can't carry him with us all the time. Save it here, I think. So I'd like to thank you for joining me in our Pokemon Fire and Nuzlocke Challenge today. I hope to see you tune in next time.